Hello friend, when I started learning Azure, then I never worked on Azure and I directly attended the interviews and I was not even able to explain these three very basic concepts of Azure. So today I will explain these concepts to you with the step by step diagrams so that by the end of this video you will master these concepts and you can easily explain these concepts in your interviews and crack your interview. So let's start our journey from the very first and that is resources. What is a resource in Azure? What is the difference between a service uh, and a resource in Azure? Yeah, I know it's very easy, but I do not want to take any chance for any confusion. So let's quickly understand this. Let's first go to the Azure portal. Okay, here you can on the right, you can find this create resource button, right? This is the create resource. When you click it, it will ask you to select some service. Okay, for example, I search for virtual machine. Okay, here I will search and uh, then I found this virtual machine here. So I will open it. Okay. Now listen carefully. This is a service virtual machine provided uh, by the Azure. Now he here, if I will pre press the create buttons, that means an instance of virtual machine service will be created in my Azure account. And that instance of virtual machine we call resource. Okay. So basically after creating the resource, I can use it for my purpose for hosting some application, whatever, whatever. So I can have I host basically my applications on virtual machine. Okay. Now, similarly, I can create multiple resources in my Azure account from different, different services. Hope you got the point. Let's go back to the slide. So no, now, for example, in Azure, there uh, we have these many services, storage account, virtual machine, database, all these are services, right? Now your company as your developer or you can use these services by creating the instance of these services in Azure and those created instances in Azure will be called the resources. Okay, a very simple example. For example, if you are a developer, then understand Azure service is like a class and Azure resource is like an object or instance of that class, which actually works. Class is just logical object do the real thing, right? Same resource do the real thing. Great. Now you have 100% know what resources are. If yes, then write crystal clear in the comments or chat box to feel some confidence. Okay. Finally, here is the simple and easy to remember definition. A resource in Azure is any individually manageable component that you can create, configure and use in the cloud cloud. Basically, it's an instance of service which you can use for your purpose. Okay. Now, here is the same difference between a resource and a service, which I already explained, but I'm writing it here so that later you can easily revise it from the book. Okay. Now to manage these resources in a better way, we can group them. Okay. That we call resource groups and that I will explain you in the upcoming question. What are resource groups in Azure? Why do we use them in projects? get ready by the end you will you can explain this concept to anyone so from the name itself you can understand resource group is the grouping of resources right but the main question is when in azure uh, when in the azure is the requirement to create the resource group okay so let's quickly understand with the help of an example for example your company have a web application and it is present in, inside the azure cloud now to run this application, you have created many resources like storage account, virtual machines uh, for hosting your application, SQL database for database of your application, right? So you have created these many resources in your uh, Azure cloud. Now you can put all these resources inside a resource group like this product development resource group one. 
why we created this resource group because then all these resources will be under this development resource group and only developers in your company will have the access for it similarly when the development is done you can create the same kind of resources which you can put inside this testing resource group like this product testing resource group too so these are different resources okay and above one are different so basically now these testing resource groups are available to both development team and testing team or any other team similarly if you have the production environment or the uat environment we can create a separate resource group and inside there will be different sets of resources so getting my point so now if like me you are from the development background then understand as your services are like the classes the resources are like the objects and resource group are like the collection of objects like the lists or namespaces okay so that is the analogy in short we use resource group to organize the resources properly great so that is the best answer you have ever heard of right and here is the definition of simple definition of resource group a resource group in azure is a logical container that holds related azure resources okay so that is the definition and why to use resource group because it allows you to manage organize basically organize all your resources in efficiently and in a better way okay so things are written here and now you have a clear understanding of uh, what is resource groups right quick update before the next question i cracked as your interview after facing many rejections from that experience i created this complete as your interview course this course include five things number five 200 interview questions all topics step by step even if you are an as your beginner fourth real scenario based questions just like in real interviews third you can check your interview preparation status by marking questions prepared or not prepared second is this pdf book for quick revision and first is as your top 10 mock interviews many student cracked interviews using my courses you can be the next course and book links are given in the description if you are interested great if not no worries let's continue with the next question what are azure subscriptions by the end you will be super confident about this concept so until now we already know that uh, in azure we can create the resources and then the resources we can group them and keep inside the resource group like this okay now we can also group the resource group like this inside the subscription now you will ask oh man what's this why we are creating the groups of groups the reason is resource group are mainly for access only where access means uh, one resource group member can't access another resource group uh, resources okay so subscription is mainly for related to billing and uh, deleting managing the resources at high level for example this product one application there can be different resource group for uh, development and production right now to control all these resources and to purchase these resources there will be a product manager right for one product the product that product manager or owner product owner will have the top level subscription level access and he will pay the bills of those resources and will manage will delete the resources so that's why subscription is like top level access okay now listen carefully similarly in the same company there can be other product right like product 2 and separate resource groups can be inside this product 2 like product 2 dev product 2 staging product 2 uh, production okay here again will be there will be a different product owner or manager for that we will be have had different subscription to 
by which the manager will uh, you know pay the bills of the resources so based on the product basically it is a product one will have a different subscription product two will have a different subscription and mostly it is used to pay the bills this is the whole idea of the subscription and if it is clear to you then write crystal clear in the comments or chat box finally here is the easy to remember definition an azure subscription is a container for azure resources that defines billing billing access control and resource limit okay so it is one level up up than the resource group so this is the diagram the definition in the book which can help you in revising later your team accidentally deletes a resource group what happens to its resources inside that resource group pause and think done the answer is all resources in the inside the resource group will be deleted permanently okay that's how if you will delete subscription all the resource group will be deleted including the resources so that is the uh, top level okay so always use role based access to prevent accidental deletions okay that is like somehow role based uh, role based access if manager have a role then only manager should be able to delete things not the developer so role based access great job my friend for watching the full video most people will only talk but the way you are finishing shows your seriousness and dedication towards your as your goal now if you understand this video then there is a next level which is uh, above subscription which is also asked in azure interviews all i have explained in the complete course using the very simple diagrams like this many of my students have already used my courses to crack their interviews so if you are also serious about cracking your next as your interview and do not want to miss a single question then check out this course link and the pdf book link in the description below